Hey, 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 it's your girl uh, from Black Girl Happy Planner. I'm Kelly of Tibbs and just giving another shout out um, to a great week so far kicking off. I hope everybody else is having a great week so far kicking off. Um, but just coming at you with my next installment of my to-do list Tuesday. My hope is if I do more of the, the more I do these, the more I will stay on task with my actual actual um, to-do list. I can't talk this morning. So, um, it's a little nippy this morning. Got a jacket on this morning. I'm in Alabama. It's feeling like fall weather right now. I don't know what's going on, but I know it's just the, you know, it's just kind of, she, she's setting us up. Mother Nature's setting us up because it's about to be hot again, I think, later on this week. So, it's August. Don't, it ain't fall yet. Don't fall for the okie doke, y'all. It's not fall. It's August. So, yeah, I got my jacket on now. Probably take it off later. But, you know, just a side note, if, you, if, if any of you are like me, if you work in a place where the air condition is always blasting, it's hot as heck outside, but the air condition inside feel like it's Antarctica. So, that's the dichotomy I'm dealing with all the time. So, it's a jacket this morning. Then it's going to, I'm going to probably keep my jacket on all day because it's going to be freezing cold in the building. But then when I come out, it's probably going to be hot. So, you know. We can't make up our mind. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on the things I'm doing, what I've been doing, uh, as far as getting my biz together. Um, it's been a, you know, it's been a, a process throughout the summer. Um, I've been, you know, I won't say I've been on it 100%. I've probably been on it 90%. And there are some days where I just don't feel like doing anything business related. And I just feel like relaxing and not doing anything and vegging out and watching Netflix or something. And so, you know, but then I realized, hmm, you need to step it up and get it together. We got the holidays coming. We got all these things coming up. And so I really need to, you know, spend the next probably month or so focusing on the business. So some of the things I've been working on include, um, well, let me just say my to-do list for my work work, my job at school. Most of you know that I'm, that I, I work with the STEM program at the elementary school here. And so, um, been just trying to get kids to understand the basics of what science is right now. So what is science and understanding that. And this week we're talking about talking about engineering um so what is engineering and how does that work with science and i think they're mo they're very interested in engineering because engineering is basically creating things and making things work and improving how things work and creating processes and solving problems and so they're very interested in that so i'm glad that they're interested in that um yeah and so just doing that with them setting up the lesson plans and all of that uh I would say too, a lot of the information now, like teachers back in the day had to really hustle to get lesson plans together. Nowadays, we have so many resources online. Um, my classroom uses this website called Generation Genius and it's all science and math related and all I have to do is go through, pick a lesson and play the video, download the worksheets. It's all like built in one, like uh, the school subscribes to it. And so a lot of schools across the country subscribe to it. And it's a really genius, you know, if you will, to, uh, tool to use. And then of course there's YouTube. YouTube, you can find anything that you need to <laughs> teach about and add extra, like extra, you know, to what it is you're already teaching, YouTube is phenomenal in that area. So it's really helpful um, for filling in the gaps and, you know, finding other tools to help teach what it is you're trying to teach. So kudos to YouTube for that. Um, then also on the business side, um, my goal is to set up an Etsy shop. I already have my WooCommerce shop set up on my website. If you check out blackgirlhappyplanner.com, that is my website. That's where you'll see my blog. You'll also see the, the the products that I have available already. Go and get your mug, your Black Girl Happy Planner latte mug, as well as your Black Girl Happy Planner journal. Um, and then there's a bundle up there as well for the journal and the plan, um, the mug. So go visit blackgirlhappyplanner.com to check out my website. Um, but my goal is to get more products up before the end of the month. So I'm, I've been designing t-shirts and 
um, also then planner products so my goal is to set up before the end of the month also an Etsy shop so that I could sell digital planners and eventually I want to create like planner planners like hard paper planners um, so look out for that and look out for the Etsy shop to be coming soon um, and so I also have been updating figured out a way to update my content planner I use a, a, a planner with a company called uh, content Empire I bought a planner from her a while ago and I've used her products before but it was just this week of I had a moment of Eureka where I said you know what I need to put all of my content and all of my business stuff on this particular planner and it's a fill-in like you can go in and fill in you know and print the pages and it's really genius um so it's a really great tool so it's called the content empire empire i encourage you to go check her out um yeah so just been working on that and content content is a never ending never ending battle and i'm getting better with it but it's just a never ending battle to figure out what it is you want to do because you have so many tools and so many other people telling you what you should put up and how you should be engaging with your audience but what I'm finding out is that you have to figure out how that works for you um, and that's what I've been spending the summer trying to figure out content wise what it is that I need to be doing and how comfortable like I don't want to just be posting stuff just to be posting stuff but I want to be comfortable in the stuff that I'm posting and sharing with my audience so um, those are things that I've been working on um, the last couple weeks for my to-do list Tuesday um, let's see this week too working on I've been working on all summer trying to uh, I do I'm on, in a challenge called the BYOB blog your own book challenge with ninja writers and so I've um, been trying to work on my podcast downloads to transcribe them so that I can turn them into blog posts so that's one project um, it's a never-ending project <laughs> to make that happen so this week I hope to knock out a few of those podcast downloads and get them transcribed um, also just to um, update my project planner I figured out a new I figured out a new way to do projects and to how to map projects so that I see the progress because a lot of times I write down project ideas and things I want to do but I don't really map it out to an end goal so I figured out a way to do that so I'll, I'll be sharing that with you all uh, once I get into the groove of the project planning for myself to see, you know, if it's going to work or not. Um, also, I, I dropped my events calendar last week. So I just wanted to, sh I want to share some dates coming up with you that I'm hosting events. So on, uh, let's see, uh, August 22nd, I'm hosting a photo party. So as a part of my life and legacy photo, photo, um, and memory keeping business, um, I'm hosting a photo party it's free just giving you tools and resources and just an opportunity to work on our photos a lot of us we take pictures in um, on our on our phones and you know we don't organize them or take the time to organize them and um, in this time of um, you know uncertainty with natural disasters and things like that we need to sit down and figure out what our photo legacy is going to be uh, to our families and friends and just for us just to remember things and look back like it's been studied that photos and looking at photos is very therapeutic, um, especially as you get older and your mind starts going, you know, to remember and look at photos. So if you start that early enough now and start the organizing part, you don't have to try to do it later. Um, so join me in my photo party on August 22nd. Um, also plan with me. I'm hosting on August 30th. Um, as a part of my to-do list Tuesday series so join me for a plan with me bring your planners bring your projects and we can get some stuff done or as I like to say get some ish done okay so that's on the 30th and then for those of you who, who are content creators and content is a wide open field so content can be writing books can be podcasts can be blogs can be just writing journals like content and uh, designing uh, like Canva, social media, all that kind of stuff. All of anything that that is something that you create is content. So um, I have a group called on Facebook called Busy Content Creators, and I'm hosting another Busy Content Creators session on August 25th. So that's next Thursday. So make sure you check that out. And then there's so September is uh, 
the photo managers started this uh, in September, Save Your Photos Month, several years ago. I think it's going on like 10 years now. And so on September 1st, I'll be hosting a uh, Save Your Photos Month kind of preview to get um, people interested and to learn about what it means to work on saving your photos. And so I hope you will join me for that. I will post those dates on my website, um, but also if you join my pop of color, pop of color uh, planner group on Facebook, you'll see all the information there. Um, and you'll also be able to sign up for my uh, email list. So um, yeah, so those are just the events that I have coming up. You'll be able to RSVP for the events too, because I put them on Facebook and you can RSVP for the events there. Some of them are hosted on Zoom. Some of them are also hosted on Facebook Rooms. Whatever I feel like doing that day, that's what we'll do. The photo party for sure will be on Zoom, but um, the plan with me will probably be in Rooms. So I'll, you know, you'll see that information. Um, again, visit my website, blackgirlhappyplanner.com to buy my, my mug and my um, journal, and then be on the lookout for new products coming up soon. Um, all right, so I hope you're having a great Tuesday, um, and I hope you're getting through your to-do list Tuesday uh, this week as well. So have a great week, everybody. Peace.